So I am thinking about leaving the Roblox Star program. Yeah, I know. Wow, Creecraft, what a way to kick off the new year, man. You're thinking about leaving the Roblox Star program. And again, it's something that's been going on in my head for the past few weeks or so. Now, real quick, for the people who aren't familiar with what the Roblox Star program is, it's basically the program where YouTubers like me partner up with Roblox and we get some cool perks in return. Like, for example, if you're on Roblox and you go to buy some Robux, let's say $20, you actually see right here, it says click here to add a star code. You can type in a star code here. Like for example, mine is real Creek. There you go. Now you're supporting Creek craft. You're supporting Roblox. Everybody's happy. Other creators like Dennis also have a star code. He's also in the star program, as you can see from his banner here. Also, a fun little fact. Here's the Roblox video star program group on Roblox. And if you scroll down to the first page, you'll actually see I'm the OG. I was the first person ever added to it. So you're probably asking yourself, Creek craft, why would you leave the star program? Don't you make money from that? Like a lot of money from that? Yeah, it's just just that I am extremely disappointed at something Roblox has done or I guess hasn't done over the past month or so. And I, I know you're probably thinking, Creek, what when are you ever not upset at something that Roblox has done or hasn't done? You're always complaining about something. But this one's very important, at least to me. You see, it has to do with RB battles, the Roblox event. For the people that don't know, Roblox battles, RB battles, it's a YouTube channel created by Terabrite Games and Russo Plays. And as you can see, they do a bunch of videos where your favorite Roblox YouTubers compete against each other for a bunch of Robux. And alongside all these awesome videos here, there's also stuff you can do on Roblox as a part of the event. Like, for example, Terabrite Games, Russo, RB Battles, they teamed up with a bunch of developers to add these fun items that you can find inside of Roblox. Here's actually a video where uh, someone's actually getting one of those items. It's it's Russo's bit. I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of creators talking about bits over the past few weeks, and yeah, there's one right there on screen. And well, the event's been a lot of fun. I've had a great time with it. As you can see, I've done a bunch of streams on the events, reacting to the battles, finding the bits. It's been a great, great time. I'll be streaming the finale as always. The live event for the finale is also coming up. That's going to be huge on Roblox. So what exactly am I disappointed about? The event's been great and it has. What I'm really disappointed about like I hinted at before, is kind of what Roblox has done with the event or what they actually haven't done, which is anything. They, they haven't done nothing. They, they, they haven't done anything to do with RB Battles. Let me give you a little bit of background information here. Okay, so RB Battles is an event created, like I mentioned before, by Terabrite Games, Russo Plays, DJ Monopoly. They make it all out of pocket. They pay for it all out of pocket. Okay, they pay for the games to be made. They pay for the editing, the recording, everything. To just kind of express this point, here's a video where they bought a full-on mocap suit. These things cost like ten, twenty thousand dollars just to animate stuff for the Roblox event, as you can see right here on screen. And the total cost of running an event like this is well over one hundred thousand dollars. Like they have put one hundred thousand dollars of their own money up just to make this event. And why would they do that? because they love events like this. Roblox, of course, doesn't do events like this anymore. We all know that. And so this event, RB Battles, is really just a huge event by creators, by developers for the Roblox community, like a giant love letter to the community. The people who make the event don't make any money really off of it. That's why whenever you watch a video like this one here, you'll actually see they have a sponsor like Walmart Land here. Roblox themselves don't pay for the event. They don't help pay for it. It's all paid out of pocket by the creators. And I mean, they don't complain about it. Yeah, it's a lot of money but they love doing this for the community it makes the community happy and I, I i think that's a really good thing the issue i have and the whole reason i'm making this video is actually well because of this right here this is the roblox home page it's the discover page and well as you can see there's really nothing to do with RB battles on this page. Normally, whenever a big event's going on, Roblox will talk about it on their blog post over here on the left side of the screen. You can visit the Roblox blog. There'll be something here talking about the event. Or you might even notice there's a little section down here called events. And this is where Roblox puts all the events. But as you can see, there's there's nothing here. RB battles isn't here. In fact, if you're just a Roblox player who's not already following all of us on social media, you probably don't even know RB Battles is going on because there's no indication of it on the website at all. And you know, that sucks because it limits the audience that RB Battles can have. It limits the audience to the people we already have, to the people who already follow us. Anyone that's new to Roblox or someone that started playing since the last RB Battles event has happened, 
they don't even know what it is. They'll have no idea it's going on. Now, Roblox has, to their credit, tweeted a few times about the event, but that's really it. In fact, if we scroll on up, their last tweet about RB battles was actually right here on December 11th. This is the last time that they tweeted about it. So Roblox hasn't really helped promote the event, an, an event, you know, made by creators, by the developers of Roblox through and through 100%. Roblox hasn't really done much to promote that. And I mean, that sucks but I, I, I guess it is what it is. That's not really specifically what bothers me. What really irks me and the entire reason I'm making this video is actually because of this. Here's the event section on Roblox and wow, look, there's Walmart land. There's the Walmart land event. It's right there on the screen. Here's actually another example. Here's the Samsung Superstar Galaxy. There it is right under the event section on Roblox. And here's another event done by Spotify right there under the event section on Roblox. Here's two more. We've got the World Party the EDC event. We've got Spotify Island. There's Superstar Galaxy again. But if we go back over here to the Discover page, and let me just refresh the double check here, there's nothing there. there. There's no RB battles under events. So basically, what Roblox is telling me right now is Roblox won't promote the event that was paid for and created entirely by the creators and developers of the website, the people who made Roblox as big as it is, they're not gonna promote that event on the website. But when it comes to Walmart, when it comes to Spotify, when it comes to these giant billion dollar corporations, they have no problem putting those on the website and shoving those games into your faces. It, it, it just feels like a huge slap in the face. Completely unbiased here, Roblox has treated me personally very well over the past year. They, they have forever, really. Anytime I have a problem, you know, someone from Roblox will hop into a voice chat. We'll chat about it. We'll talk about it. We'll usually get the problem resolved. But as a creator on the platform, as one of the biggest and largest creators on the platform, it really bothers me when I see fellow creators get just completely shafted in, in place of Walmart and Spotify and all these other giant billion dollar corporations. RB Battles, it's an event created entirely 100% by YouTubers, by Roblox developers. They made integrations for their games. They spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this. And Roblox can't even put a little tiny pixel box in the corner of the website to let people know what's going on. Like it's literally so simple. All you've got to do is put a little tiny pixel box in the corner of the homepage. That's all you got to do. <sighs> Roblox can't even do that, man. Man, my face is all red now. Looks like I've been crying. I haven't, I haven't been crying, I promise. <laughs> it just this feels like a slap in the face as a creator. Like I know Roblox always talks about supporting the developers and supporting the creators, but here we are, the biggest event in the past two years made entirely by creators and developers, and they haven't done a single thing. Now, I don't know if this video is gonna do anything, if it's gonna change any of the culture at Roblox, any of the decisions at Roblox. I mean, I know a lot of employees at Roblox, and I'm sure they agree with me. There's a lot of lovely people. In fact, everyone I know from Roblox has been great. Uh, lovely. Love them. It's just, it seems there's a disconnect from the people at the top, the people making the decisions. Like, there, there's something going on here. Like, why are we putting these giant corporations these giant advertisements over creators and developers like that 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 really bothers me and then of course looping this back around to the star program why should i or any creator be a part of a program that at the end of the day when it comes down to it they're just gonna put giant corporations over us like what, 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 why would I be a part of that? Like I, 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 I've never felt so disrespected. It's not even me. I haven't even been disrespected. It's just creators and developers as a whole have been disrespected. And it's just, it bothers me so much. I don't know if it's just me. Am I turning into a Karen with my old age? Like what if I wanted to put on a Roblox event like this or any other developer or creator? Probably the same thing would happen. So why bother? Why bother? It's just, it's so disappointing, man. I, I don't think I've ever been this disappointed. Like, it, it's, it's just, it's such a simple thing. And Roblox couldn't even do that. Basically, what I've decided is, you know, I'm going to give Roblox some time. You know, maybe I'll give them this year or something. Maybe I'll make a follow-up to this video at the end of the year. We'll talk about how Roblox did, if they're moving in the right direction. And if not, I'm probably just going to leave the star program. Because, I mean, besides the star code, there's really no point in me being in. 
in it if we're not getting anything out of it. No, of course, even if I do leave the star program, I, I'm going to keep playing Roblox. I love Roblox. I love the community. I love the developers, the other YouTubers. I love, I love all of you guys. That's not going to change. It's just I won't be an official partner of Roblox anymore. But judging from how they handled this event, they probably don't care too much anyway. So it probably doesn't matter. Oh, man, I'm so disappointed, dude. Like, I'm so disappointed. Like, you, you guys have no idea. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been this disappointed. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video to kind of have the conversation here. But at the end of the day, I'm right here. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep doing my live streams. I've got some big stuff planned for this year. Things that's going to blow your mind. I can't even talk about because um they're that big. So I'm pretty excited for this year and we're going to do some awesome things, whether Roblox supports it or not. That's just, uh, that's just how it's going to be. So thank you so much for being on this journey. We hit 6 million subscribers recently. We're going to hit 10 million subscribers subscribers this year. Hopefully that's the plan. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Happy new year. Stay safe. Have fun. See you guys later.